Hi, beautiful souls. Um, you'll see that I'm right on the edge of a lock. This is Loch TV, and I'm in the highlands of Scotland at the moment, having a recce, having a little recce, looking for wild swimming spots. I think I found my new swimming spot, which uh, is exciting on this beautiful lock. Well, at least maybe one of my new swim spots. There's um, a whole load of wild swimmers that swim here. And um, I've been told it's going to be quite wild this, this afternoon. So to get in now. <laughs> so today I thought I'd just share a little light on um, adventures and just to, just to keep on with that subject, topic. Topic, yes, topic is a better word because it's so fun to explore and it's so fun to push ourselves out of our comfort zones and to experience new places. And as you can see right now, it's raining, but even rain is a blessing. This morning I woke up with this enormous rainbow just encompassing where I was staying um, in a place called Connell. And the rainbow was like a complete circle. It was uh, reflecting on the water and uh, it made this enormous circle. It was just magical and divine. And then I got up and I have been exploring and walking around and looking at the water, seeing how clear it is and talking to trees and just getting very acquainted with the environment, introducing myself to the nature. You know, I feel that this is something that we do so much with uh, humans, like when we meet a person, we go, oh, hello, my name is so-and-so, blah, 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 um, which I just did with one of the wild swimmers now. But how often do people actually do this with nature? How often do people actually go up to a tree and say, hi, tree, you're looking so beautiful, like this magical tree that I'm standing beneath, and just say, you know, you're, you're so beautiful, and, and look at your roots. You're just such a gorgeous tree. My name's Zaza, and i just like to introduce myself. And when you introduce yourself to trees, trees remember, trees are wisdom keepers. They take note of when you have come into their space and, and um, shared grace with them, because in introducing yourself to a tree and speaking with trees, you're sharing grace, you're sharing peacefulness. And there's something there that is of high integrity and higher love which is unity consciousness and that is all about the heart open heart ways of living here on this earth in this now i am <clears throat> i wonder if you can see the swimmers no there's a little pier at the end down there and uh, they swim off the end of the pier so i'm assuming that's probably the best place to get in and out and um, that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go up to the car drive it down here I didn't know you could actually drive down here because you know there's a lot of places where there are passing places and you mustn't park in a passing place and uh, there's a, an art exhibition of open houses going on at the moment so I'm planning to go and see some some nice art as well <clears throat> and just get myself acquainted with this area in a graceful way with graciousness and reverence for all life in this beautiful environment, including the rain, which even though is quite abundant right now, it's, um, it's a blessing. You feel the rain and it's so soft. You wash your hands up here and the water's so soft. It's a beautiful place to be. And here I am on Lake Ativi in the Highlands of Scotland, wishing you all well, wishing you joy, and I send you a lot of love, many blessings, peace. Like, subscribe and share if you feel called to do so. My name is Zaza.